The Persians are an Iranian ethnic group that make up over half the population of Iran. They share a common cultural system and are native speakers of the Persian language, as well as closely related languages. The ancient Persians were a nomadic branch of the ancient Iranian population that entered the territory of modern day Iran by the early 10th century BC. Together with their compatriot allies, they established and ruled some of the world's most powerful empires, well recognized for their massive cultural, political, and social influence covering much of the territory and population of the ancient world. Throughout history, the Persians have contributed greatly to various forms of art and science, and own one of the world's most prominent literatures. In contemporary terminology, people of Persian heritage native specifically to present day Afghanistan, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan are referred to as Tajiks, whereas those in the Eastern Caucasus, primarily the present day Republic of Azerbaijan, albeit heavily assimilated, are referred to as Tats. However, historically, the terms Tajik, Tat, and Persian were synonymous and were used interchangeably, and many of the most influential Persian figures hailed from outside Iran's present-day borders to the northeast in Central Asia and Afghanistan and to a lesser extent to the northwest in the Caucasus proper. Ethnonym Etymology <inaudible> 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 The English term Persian derives from Latin Persia, itself deriving from Greek Persis, Persis a Hellenized form of Old Persian Parsa. In the Bible, it is given as Paris, Hebrew, Paris sometimes Paris Umidai, Prism, Persia and Media, within the books of Esther, Daniel, Ezra, and Nehemiah. A Greek folk etymology connected the name to Perseus, a legendary character in Greek mythology. Herodotus recounts this story, devising a foreign son, Perses, from whom the Persians took the name. Apparently, the Persians themselves knew the story, as Xerxes I tried to use it to suborn the Argives during his invasion of Greece, but ultimately failed to do so. <laughs> History of usage Although Persis was originally one of the provinces of ancient Iran, varieties of this term e Persia were adopted through Greek sources and used as an official name for all of Iran for many years. Thus, in the Western world, the term Persian came to refer to all inhabitants of the country. Some medieval and early modern Islamic sources also used cognates of the term Persian to refer to various Iranian peoples, including the speakers of the Khwarezmian language, the Mazandarani language, and the Old Azeri language. 10th century Iraqi historian al Masudi refers to Pahlavi, Dari, and Azari as dialects of the Persian language. In 1333, medieval Moroccan traveler and scholar Ibn Battuta referred to the people of Kabul as a specific sub-tribe of Persians. Lady Mary Leonora Walf Shile, in her observation of Iran during the Qajar era, describes Persians, Kurds, and Leks to identify themselves as descendants of the ancient Persians. 20. On March 21, 1935, the former king of Iran, Reza Shah of the Pahlavi dynasty, issued a decree asking the international community to use the term Iran, the native name of the country, in formal correspondence. However, the term Persian is still historically used to designate the predominant population of the Iranian peoples living in the Iranian cultural continent. History The earliest known written record attributed to the Persians is from the Black Obelisk of Shalmaneser III, an Assyrian inscription from the mid-9th century BC, found at Nimrud. The inscription mentions Parsua presumed to mean border or borderland as a tribal chiefdom 860-600 BC in modern-day western Iran. The ancient Persians were a nomadic branch of the Iranian population that, in the early 10th century BC, settled to the northwest of modern-day Iran. They were initially dominated by the Assyrians for much of the first three centuries after arriving in the region. However, they played a major role in the downfall of the Neo-Assyrian Empire. The Medes, another branch of this population, founded the unified empire of Media as the region's dominant cultural and political power in c. 625 BC. Meanwhile, the Persian dynasty of the Achaemenids formed a vassal state to the central Median power. In c. 552 BC, the Achaemenids began a revolution which eventually led to the conquest of the empire by Cyrus II in c. 550 BC. 
They spread their influence to the rest of what is called the Iranian Plateau, and assimilated with the non-Iranian indigenous groups of the region, including the Elamites and the Manians. At its greatest extent, the Achaemenid Empire stretched from parts of Eastern Europe in the west, to the Indus Valley in the east, making it the largest empire the world had yet seen. The Achaemenids developed the infrastructure to support their growing influence, including the creation of Pasargadae and the opulent city of Persepolis. The empire extended as far as the limits of the Greek city-states in modern-day mainland Greece, where the Persians and Athenians influenced each other in what is essentially a reciprocal cultural exchange. Its legacy and impact on the Kingdom of Macedon was also notably huge, even for centuries after the withdrawal of the Persians from Europe following the Greco-Persian Wars. The empire collapsed in 330 BC following the conquests of Alexander the Great, but re-emerged shortly after as the Parthian Empire. During the Achaemenid era, Persian colonists settled in Asia Minor. In Lydia, the most important Achaemenid satrapy, near Sardis, there was the Hyrcanian Plain, which, according to Strabo, got its name from the Persian settlers that were moved from Hyrcania. Similarly near Sardis, there was the Plain of Cyrus, which further signified the presence of numerous Persian settlements in the area. In all these centuries, Lydia and Pontus were reportedly the chief centers for the worship of the Persian gods in Asia Minor. According to Pausanias, as late as the 2nd century AD, one could witness rituals which resembled the Persian fire ceremony at the towns of Hyrocesarea and Hypapa. Mithridates III of Sias, a Persian nobleman and part of the Persian ruling elite of the town of Sias, founded the Kingdom of Pontus in his later life, in northern Asia Minor. At the peak of its power, under the infamous Mithridates VI the Great, the kingdom of Pontus also controlled Colchis, Cappadocia, Bithynia, the Greek colonies of the Tauric Chersonesos, and for a brief time the Roman province of Asia. After a long struggle with Rome in the Mithridatic Wars, Pontus was defeated, part of it was incorporated into the Roman Republic as the province Bithynia and Pontus, and the eastern half survived as a client kingdom. Following the Macedonian conquests, the Persian colonists in Cappadocia and the rest of Asia Minor were cut off from their co-religionists in Iran proper, but they continued to practice the Zoroastrian faith of their forefathers. Strabo, who observed them in the Cappadocian kingdom in the 1st century BC, records that these fire kindlers possessed many holy places of the Persian gods, as well as fire temples. Strabo, who wrote during the time of Augustus r. 63 BC to 14 AD, almost 300 years after the fall of the Achaemenid Persian Empire, records only traces of Persians in Western Asia Minor, however, he considered Cappadocia, almost a living part of Persia. Until the Parthian era, the Iranian identity had an ethnic, linguistic, and religious value. However, it did not yet have a political import. Parthian, a mutually intelligible language with Middle Persian, became an official language of the Parthian Empire. It had influences on Persian, as well as a major influence on the neighboring Armenian language. By the time of the Sasanian Empire, a national culture which was fully aware of being Iranian took shape, partially motivated by restoration and revival of the wisdom of the old sages, Middle Persian, Danagan Pesenagan. Other aspects of this national culture included the glorification of a great heroic past and an archizing spirit. Throughout the period, the Iranian identity reached its height in every aspect. Middle Persian, which is the immediate ancestor of modern Persian and a variety of other Iranian dialects, became the official language of the empire and was greatly diffused among Iranians. The Parthians and the Sasanians would also extensively interact with the Romans culturally. The Roman-Persian Wars and the Byzantine-Sasanian Wars would shape the landscape of Western Asia, Europe, the Caucasus, North Africa, and the Mediterranean Basin for centuries. For a period of over 400 years, the neighboring Byzantines and Sasanians were recognized as the two leading powers in the world, the intermingling of Persians, Medes, Parthians, Bactrians, and indigenous pre-Iranian People of Iran including the Elamites gained more ground, and a homogeneous Iranian identity was created to the extent that all were just called Iranians, irrespective of clannish affiliations and regional linguistic or dialectal alterities. Furthermore, the process of incomers' assimilation which had been started with the Greeks, continued in the face of Arab, Mongol, and Turkic invasions and proceeded right up to Islamic times. Anthropology. In modern-day Iran, Persians make up the majority of the population. 
They speak the western varieties of modern Persian, which also serves as the country's official language. Topic: <inaudible> Persian language. The Persian language and its various varieties are part of the western group of the Iranian branch of the Indo-European language family. Modern Persian is classified as a continuation of Middle Persian, the official religious and literary language of the Sasanian Empire, itself a continuation of Old Persian, which was spoken by the time of the Achaemenid Empire. Old Persian is one of the oldest Indo European languages attested in original texts. Examples of Old Persian have been found in present day Iran, Armenia, Romania, Gerla, Iraq, Turkey, and Egypt. The oldest attested text written in Old Persian is from the Behistun inscription. Topic. Related groups There are several ethnic groups and communities which are either ethnically or linguistically related to the Persian people, living predominantly in Iran, and also within Afghanistan, the Caucasus, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkey, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Oman, and the United Arab Emirates. The Lurish people, living primarily in the western regions of Iran, are an ethnic Iranian people often associated with Persians and Kurds. They speak various dialects of the Lurish language, which are closely related to the Middle Persian language, concentrated in Azerbaijan, Armenia and Russia Dagestan. .The Caucasian Tat people are another ethnic Iranian people whose mother tongue—the Tat language—is considered a variant of the Persian language. Their origin is traced to the merchants who settled in the region by the time of the Sasanian Empire. The Hazaras, making up the third largest ethnic group in Afghanistan, are a Persian speaking people speaking a variety of Persian called Hazaragi, which is more precisely a part of the Dari dialect continuum, one of the two main languages of Afghanistan, and is mutually intelligible with Dari. The Amaks are a semi nomadic Persian speaking people found mostly in western Afghanistan. They mainly speak a variety of Persian called Aimaq, which is close to the Khorasani and Dari varieties. Culture From the early inhabitants of Persis, to the Achaemenid, Parthian, and Sasanian empires, to the neighboring Greek city-states, the Kingdom of Macedon, the Caliphates and the Islamic world, all the way to modern-day Iran and Western Europe, and such far places as those found in India, Asia, and Indonesia, Persian culture has been either recognized, incorporated, adopted, or celebrated. This is due mainly to geopolitical conditions, and its intricate relationship with the ever-changing political arena once as dominant as the Achaemenid Empire. Art The artistic heritage of the Persians is eclectic, and includes major contributions from both the East and the West. Persian art borrowed heavily from the indigenous Elamite civilization and Mesopotamia, and later from the Hellenistic civilization. In addition, due to the central location of Greater Iran, it has served as a fusion point between Eastern and Western traditions. Persians have contributed in various forms of art, including carpet waving, calligraphy, miniature painting, illustrated manuscripts, glasswork, lacquer work, katam a native form of marquetry, metalwork, pottery, mosaic, and textile design. Topic. Literature The Persian language is known to have one of the world's oldest literatures, with prominent medieval poets such as Ferdowsi author of Sahname, Greater Iran's national epic, Rudaki, Rumi, Hafez Shirazi, Saadi Shirazi, Nizami Ganjavi, Omar Khayyam, and Attar of Nishapur. Not all Persian literature is written in Persian, as some consider works written by Persians in other languages—such as Arabic and Greek—to be included. At the same time, not all literature written in Persian is written by ethnic Persians or Iranians, as Turkic, Caucasian, and Indic poets and writers have also used the Persian language in the environment of Persianate cultures. Prominent writers such as Sadej Hedayat, Farooq Farooq Zad, Ahmad Shamlu, Simon Dineshvar, Mehdi Akhavan Sales and Parvin Atisami have also had major contributions to contemporary Persian literature. Architecture. The most prominent examples of ancient Persian architecture are the work of the Achaemenids hailing from Persis. 
The quintessential feature of Achaemenid architecture was its eclectic nature, with elements from Median architecture, Assyrian architecture, and Asiatic Greek architecture all incorporated. Achaemenid architectural heritage, beginning with the expansion of the empire around 550 BC, was a period of artistic growth that left a legacy ranging from Cyrus the Great's solemn tomb at Pasargadae to the structures at Persepolis, and such historical sites as Nax e Rustum. During the Sasanian era, multiple architectural projects took place, some of which are still existing, including the Palace of Ardashir, the Sarvastan Palace, the castle fortifications in Durban, located in North Caucasus, now part of Russia, and the reliefs at TAQ Boston. The BAM Citadel, a massive structure at 1,940,000 square feet square meters constructed on the Silk Road in BAM, is from around the 5th century BC. Modern contemporary architectural projects influenced by the ancient Achaemenid architecture include the tomb of Ferdowsi erected under the reign of Reza Shah in Tus, the Azadi Tower erected in 1971 at a square in Tehran, and the Dariush Grand Hotel located on Kish Island in the Persian Gulf. <laughs> Gardens Xenophon, in his Oeconomicus, states the great king Cyrus II less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 in all the districts he resides in and visits takes care that there are paradisos paradise from Avestan paradisa as they Persians call them full of the good and beautiful things that the soil produce for the Achaemenid monarchs gardens assumed an important place Persian gardens utilized the Achaemenid knowledge of water technologies, as they utilized aqueducts, earliest recorded gravity-fed water rills, and basins arranged in a geometric system. The enclosure of this symmetrically arranged planting and irrigation, by an infrastructure such as a building or a palace created the impression of paradise. Parthians and Sasanians later added their own modifications to the original Achaemenid design. Later on, the quadripartite design of Persian gardens was reinterpreted within the Muslim world. Today, examples of these traditional gardens can be seen in such places as the tomb of Hafez, Golshan Garden, Kavam House, Iram Garden, Shazda Garden, Fin Garden, Tabatabai House, and the Boruurdis House. Music <laughs> <laughs> According to the accounts reported by Xenophon, a great number of singers were present at the Achaemenid court. However, little information is available from the music of that era. The music scene of the Sasanian Empire has a more available and detailed documentation than the earlier periods, and is especially more evident within the context of Zoroastrian musical rituals. In general, Sasanian music was influential, and was later adopted in the subsequent eras. Iranian music, as a whole, utilizes a variety of musical instruments that are unique to the region, and has remarkably evolved since the ancient and medieval times. In traditional Sasanian music, the octave was divided into 17 tones. By the end of the 13th century, Iranian music also maintained a 12 interval octave, which resembled the Western counterparts. Traditional instruments used in Iranian music include the bowed spike fiddle kamanch, the goblet drum tonbak, the end blown flute ney, the large frame drum doff, the hammered dulcimer santar, and the four long necked lutes tar, dotar, sitar, and tanbur. The European string instrument violin is also used, with an alternative tuning preferred by Iranian musicians. Topic. Carpets Carpet weaving is an essential part of the Persian culture, and Persian rugs are said to be one of the most detailed handmade works of art. Achaemenid rug and carpet artistry is well recognized. Xenophon describes the carpet production in the city of Sardis, stating that the locals take pride in their carpet production. A special mention of Persian carpets is also made by Athenius of Nocratus in his Dipnosophisti, as he describes a delightfully embroidered Persian carpet with preposterous shapes of griffins, the Paisiric carpet, a Scythian pile carpet dating back to the 4th century BC, which is regarded the world's oldest existing carpet, depicts elements of Assyrian and Achaemenid design, including stylistic references to the stone slab designs found in Persian royal buildings. Topic. Observances. One of the most renowned traditions observed by the Persians is the festival of Nowruz. 
Considered the national new year of the Iranian peoples, the festival of Nowruz has its roots in ancient Iranian traditions, and has been recognized within UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage lists. Other traditional celebrations, such as Charshamba Suri, Sizda Bidar, and the Night of Yalda, are also widely observed by the Persian people. References Sources Ansari, Ali M. 2014. Iran, A Very Short Introduction. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0199669349. Boyce, Mary Zoroastrians, Their Religious Beliefs and Practices. Psychology Press. ISBN 978-0415239028. McGing, B. C. The Foreign Policy of Mithridates VI Eupator, King of Pontus. Brill. ISBN 978-9004075917. Raditsa, Leo Iranians in Asia Minor. In Yarshater, Asan. The Cambridge History of Iran, Volume 3 1, The Seleucid, Parthian and Sasanian Periods. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 978-1139054942. Roisman, Joseph, Worthington, Ian 2010. A Companion to Ancient Macedonia. John Wiley and Sons. ISBN 1-4051-7936-8. Roisman, Joseph, Worthington, Ian 2011. A Companion to Ancient Macedonia. John Wiley and Sons. ISBN 1-4443-5163-X. Van Dam, Raymond 2002. Kingdom of Snow, Roman Rule and Greek Culture in Cappadocia. University of Pennsylvania Press. ISBN 978-0812236811. External links Ethnologue's entry for Western Persian